y'all know got doggone well check when it come to back i don't never have everything i supposed to have y'all the other time we have brown sugar let me make sure all the paper off child because i have been known to leave some paper on there you be chewing and trying to figure out what's going on i think you didn't put no raisins in there girl i did gonna surely have some scrambled eggs if i don't let this cool out it's becoming a science project now i'm just gonna do my own thing Um, the lady that worked there had recommended this particular um, fragrance. It's called Sunwash Wash Santal. It was just $12.95 a piece. I ended up spending $28 and some change with tax, just so you know. So I'm going to use this on just my bedding. I would love to use this on my towels and because we need new towels. I'm not going to even waste the detergent on these bleached towels. And then my husband done bleached and trying to blame me for. I went to the rodeo child for four days in August. Came back out to me. Nori tried to say he don't know. Uh, he think it was me. He don't know how it happened. Now, this is coming from a man who loves bleach. Bleach, 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 bleach everything, okay? Ain't nothing wrong with it, but you can't bleach everything, okay? And so, all the towels are bleached, y'all. I'm sure y'all probably have noticed that in some of my videos. So, we need some new towels. So I'm not going to waste this on that. But I am going to do my um betty in it and i will surely let you know how my bed and smell when i get done also bought some brick i don't know if she's a subscriber but someone commented on one of my videos a few months weeks y'all know time goes so fast about a few months ago and when i was complaining about the whites not coming white anymore they recommended me do using this my husband white t-shirts bought him some new ones but he won't throw away the old ones so I really, I really bought this to try on some of his old t-shirts. So I'm going to try this out today. Yeah, you, you think you got the best of me. But just because I'm giving you my love.
satisfying you while I keep bleeding I don't know why you act like you need no sense You wanna take a piece of my heart again I get it all, cause I just don't Maybe I needed two packs because it does say for heavier loads. But it says large and, and um, extra large loads. Use two packages. I just honestly didn't think, don't think that this is considered an extra load or a large load. So I'm going to let it soak. It'd be nice if it really did work. Cause I would love to surprise my husband and show him all his t-shirts are white again. But anywho, we're going to move on to washing these dishes that I've been trying to hide from y'all the whole time I've been in here doing stuff. Because it was blowing my whole aesthetic, okay? And I tried to make sure the kitchen was clean last night, but I had such a full load that I could not wash everything in the dishwasher. So that didn't work out. I'm gonna keep it real and just have to tell you how it is, okay, Jeff? I've been trying a lot of stuff new in this video. So first, we done tried the red dye. A little way on down, we're gonna try making potpourri bags. I saw in a TikTok video, y'all, and it was something like if you want your house to smell good all day, do this. So they made these little potpourri bags, and I can't wait to try them. Uh, try it out because it's like where they put them that is they're supposed to make your house smell good all day so i can't wait to try that out and see if that works for me Just 
is banana. They said to use really ripe banana. I didn't want to throw them away. My husband keeps buying all these bananas. So I thought, why not make banana bread? I've been seeing so many people make banana bread on YouTube. Y'all know, doggone well. When it come to back. But y'all know, I know how to follow some directions and that stuff. You give me some good directions. Hopefully it's going to come out okay. So, so I saw a recipe. I don't know if I'm going to be able to find the recipe. But when I was in the grocery store trying to see what all I needed. It looks like everybody has kind of like the same recipe. So uh, one girl, she made some and she put some hot butter on it afterwards. And I was like, good God. That might be the trick because it made it look so good. If y'all watch my video with me trying to make that cake for my oldest son, you already know. I'll never have, I don't never have everything I'm supposed to have. the time we have brown sugar I hope to God this is enough three-fourths is not that much so hopefully girl when don't none of your measuring cups got the um here we go don't none of them hardly got the writing on it no more yeah in the name of the Father and the Son, okay? I don't remember seeing brown sugar on the thing, but knowing me, if I saw it, I probably thought I had some. I don't remember seeing it though. I think I'm on somebody else's recipe in comparison to the one that I looked at. Cause this one even say to add salt. I don't think the other one said to add salt. I'm not adding salt, I don't know. It's gonna be all right. Girl, wonder if I just add some regular brand of sugar because I want to say I was watching a blogger. Now I can't remember who it was who said if they, girl, look at that, girl, look. When I say almost had enough, almost, but not quite. I cannot believe I have brown sugar. But I say that to say, it seemed like I was watching somebody that said they um, was following the recipe, but if they had to do it over, they would have added more sugar. I'm about to get off of this recipe because I don't, this one just only say brown sugar, you know. Brown sugar alone don't make stuff sweet to me though. So I wonder why you don't add both. I'm about to add, I'm about to, I'm about to do my own thing. What y'all think? <laughs> I'm about to add another three fourths cup of regular sugar. Let me just see if another person just happened to put regular sugar in there. This one actually looks good right here. This recipe has banana and raisins. Now, I would have done that. Oh, see? They put three-fourths of regular sugar sugar in there. And they also put vanilla. I'm going by this recipe. This one put vanilla extract because I know certain stuff makes stuff taste better. That I know. And it has three ripe bananas, and that's how many bananas I got. So, we're going with this one. Um, this one says unsalted butter. Oh, it also says salt too on this one though. So, so far, it's almost the same. It only called for a cup and a half of flour. This one actually don't even say brown sugar at all. This one just say regular sugar three fourths. <sighs> it's becoming a science project now. I'm just gonna do my own thing. Just gonna put both three fourths of sugar, three fourths of brown. Hey, we ain't have enough 
three fourths for the brown anyway. So what what difference does it make if we just mix it up a little bit, you know? So I done put regular sugar in here, child. We got brown sugar. Now it says a half a teaspoon of salt. That don't sound right to me, but I'ma do it only because two people said do it. So somebody gotta be right. Just a little bit. I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt. And then it says a half of teaspoon of vanilla. So can y'all see me? Hold on one second. Okay. I put a full teaspoon because I like vanilla extract. Um. So that's another thing that I just didn't get on my own. Um, two, this says two eggs. And how much butter? Where the butter part is? A half a cup of butter. Let me make sure all the paper off, child, because I have been known to leave some paper on there. You be chewing. You be chewing and trying to figure out what's going on. I thought you didn't put no raisins in there, girl. I did. Chewing on paper. Let's see. Let's put it on 30. You're going to surely have some scrambled eggs if I don't let this cool down. I sure wished I had some raisins because boy, do that sound good. Ooh. You don't want you don't put cinnamon in it. Marie, you want some you want some raisin bread. That's what you want. So if you watched that video a long time ago, back in May. Yeah, back in May. When I did my son's cake I didn't have no mix it in and I ain't got one now I don't even bake enough to really even think about it until I try to bake something again and realize I still don't got one so my hands are hurting I actually have this though Yes, y'all, I'm learning to set that timer because I told y'all, my mind's so bad. I be cooking stuff, and honey, and then just start and something else and being been a forgot. And it'll be burned. I would have did all this for nothing. So, it said an hour. I probably should have set the timer for like 40 minutes. But I think I, I'm going to end up remembering and check on it. Because I don't understand why would it take an hour, but I guess... Because don't most cake what well, most cakes say like 45 minutes on. Yeah, this smells so good. Run and get you some. Run. Yeah, it smells so good. <laughs> Have y'all ever had the um, yellow watermelon? 
It feels so good. The wind blowing a little bit because it's really hot out here. It's cooling off a little bit compared to how it was a few hours ago. But yeah, I had to go take. I had to come take a break. This white rose though smells the best. Oh God, I want to say all of these came from the Dollar Tree. I know this one, wait a minute, that's a lie. I know this one came from Hobby Lobby. This is the one we're gonna use today since we've been doing fall. This one is pump, pumpkin spice. Um, And this one I believe came from is it family dollar general this one came from dollar general this apple cider wait now this smells good too 
I saw the potpourri, the real potpourri, but it was so lame and smell. I didn't want to get that. So that's why I'm using this. This is pumpkin spice. It smells really good, but I probably needed more. I definitely needed more than one. I just feel like the lighting in my house is horrible. We got six of these. Okay, so my first event is over here. I'm gonna put the one with the mostest because I want it. Now, I don't know how Ooh, these are so dirty, y'all. I need some new vents. Like, y'all could tell I started buying some new ones, but I never bought out enough. Okay, so I'm trying to stick this in here so that I can tie it in a knot, because I think that's what they did. I don't want to put this on my bed, so I'm going to stick it back in here and tie it. So we're going to put these around the house. able to put them downstairs because all the upstairs vents are screwed into the ceiling and I wasn't gonna go through all that. I also bought this. I just mean I meant to sit this on the table when I did the table. 